Neighbors say they could hear screams for help coming from the upper floor of this condo. A family of three was trapped inside. That fire started before five this morning on Southwest Jaden Drive in Aloha. Firefighters pulled the family out of the house. The dad and 11 year old boy are in critical condition right now. The mom is also in the hospital, but we do not know her condition. Brent Weisberg talked with neighbors who tried to help the family. About a minute later, I heard somebody outside yelling and screaming, help, help, fire. Time froze for Frank Lovejoy and his neighbor, Hannah Harrison. It's definitely a helpless feeling. As they waited for rescuers to get here. Structure was fully involved when firefighters first arrived. From the first 911 call. Um, but it was definitely a chaotic environment when firefighters first arrived. Four minutes had passed. But the family of three inside had been trapped for much longer. I could see at least one figure in the, in the smoke, but uh, couldn't see a face or anything. The smoke was way too dense. Frank and another neighbor tried to rescue the father, his wife, and their 11-year-old son. There really wasn't anything more we could do. The whole house was engulfed in flames on all three floors. They could see the mother inside helpless. We told her to get out onto the back ledge um, just to get out of the smoke. The home only has two exits, the front door and a side door, and neighbors say the fire was most intense on the first floor. So unless if they didn't have a, an escape ladder, the only way to get out from the back side of the third floor is to jump. Firefighters got to the mom first. They immediately got the ladder up to the window, crawled up, and she was able to come out onto the ladder herself. And then went back inside to rescue the boy and his father, with every second working against them. There were a lot of people that were screaming for help. Reporting in Aloha, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. The boy and the father both needed CPR on scene. They were transported to Legacy Emanuel, where they remain in critical condition. The mother was taken to the hospital as well. Doctors say her condition is improving. There's no word on what caused that fire.